Welcome to Pattaya! Bienvenido a Pattaya! <laughs> okay, we are not in Miami, but Pattaya is definitely a city with an attitude. And also the Thai, they pronounce it differently. They pronounce it as Pattaya? Pattaya. 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 <laughs> but we are tourists, so we're just gonna stick with Pattaya. <laughs> If you ever heard about this city before, it's probably because of its reputation. After the Vietnam War, tourism started booming in Thailand and not just for its beaches and its temples. Pattaya became the sin city of the East, the place to go to if you wanted to go drinking, go gambling and for sex. But that is not why we are here. We are going to show you a side of Pattaya that most people don't know about. We are Nick and Lens. For the last five years, we have been traveling to some of the most amazing naturist places on the planet. And now we embarked on an epic journey to experience naturism in every continent of the world. Subscribe and travel along with us. Right now, we are in Asia. Most of the Pattaya without clothes probably happens in the go go bars. But there are also places here that you can enjoy naked without having to pay for a lap dance or a happy ending. There are two nature's resorts here in Pattaya and quite special ones. One is the oldest one in Thailand and the other one is the biggest one in Thailand. And in this video, we're gonna take you around with us and visit both of them. But first, just let's have a walk around here because this place is crazy. There are a lot of people on the beach, but if you look at the improvised beach bars, they are absolutely not full. And I don't know if it's because of the pandemic, if it was full before or that tourism hasn't quite picked up yet. I don't know. If you know, leave it in the comments. The beach road is really, it's over the top. It's full with billboards ranging from American fast food restaurants to go-go bars to everything really everything it looks a bit like a like a cheap version of vegas i do like that it's like a 90s vibe it's very yeah passé <laughs> but the one place that really makes this city notorious is walking street right now the street is still quite quiet yes this is quiet for walking street but it's not gonna take long because as soon as the sun goes down they're gonna close down the road for traffic and then it gets full of people who come here for all kinds of different dances. How do you know? How do we know, you ask? Well, we've been here yesterday and we've seen it. We're getting out of here before it gets overcrowded again and we're going to Chan Resort, Thailand's oldest nature's resort. But I think it's gonna be a little bit too late to film, so we will show you around tomorrow. Good morning! It's not morning, it's the middle of the night. This is like the story of our life. If we want to film at nature's resorts, we often have to wake up very early before all the other guests. And here at Chan Resort, it's it's even worse because the whole space is just one big space. So whenever somebody wakes up, it's done filming for us. That early swim definitely woke me up. And can you hear how quiet it is? It's crazy because we're in downtown Pattaya. Uh, the busy center and walking street and the beachfront, they are just walking distance mm. from here, but you wouldn't realize if you don't know it. That is probably one of the reasons why we meet so many people who like mm. Chan Resort. Because, they love it. Because it's like, it's the best of two worlds. Mm. The question is, how much of the other world can sneak in into a nature's resort here in Pattaya? That is a big question because, let's be honest, Pattaya is still known for its sex tourism, while Chan Nature's Resort is based on non-sexual nudity. Can, can the two go together? Yeah, that's the big question. Well, they make it very clear here and you can see this in the rules. On the very first page, it already says that uh, sexual activities are not allowed in the public spaces of the resort. And then, 
and there are the actual rules. And it's, it's a whole list. And it says everything that naturism is or is supposed to be, that their harassment and sexual acts are not allowed in the public spaces, obviously, that unacceptable behavior will be punished with just you being kicked out of the resort. Obviously, photography is not allowed when there are people are, are around, which is why we had to wake up so early. And then there are just the basic rules like be careful where you touch each other, sit on something, and don't stare or harass people, respect everybody. It's, they make it very clear what is possible and what not. And normally we don't really like rules, uh, especially not when there are so many rules. But for some reason, because we are in Pattaya and the line is so thin, I think it's a good thing, right? Yeah. It's the second time that we visit Chami Resort and to be honest, we haven't noticed anything from the outside world sneaking in into the resort. I mean, even the air is so much cleaner here. There is no smell, no smell of food, no smell of beer, there's no noise and just the air is just, yeah, so clear. Nobody trying to sell you sex shows. Yeah, also. <laughs> I gotta say, I do like this contradiction. Mm. It's cool to go to a bustling Pattaya and hear all the music and the, and the noise and the people. And then you come here and it's just an oasis of peace and quiet. And I can also imagine that there are some people who just come here and never go to Pattaya. Because you have everything here. There's, there's food, there's drinks and you can be naked. Yeah, I'm talking about food, shouldn't we go for breakfast? This looks really delicious. I'm having a hard time finding decent breakfast in, in Thailand. Most of the time it's like really lunch meals that they serve, but this is like eggs and sausage and some pork. Looks really good. It's like a Thai version of English breakfast. since we did a room tour. Our room is a pretty standard room, I think. And also I think that all the rooms here are pretty much the same. We have a huge fridge, we have a safe, a television, some cupboards uh, to put our stuff on, a clothing rack and air conditioning. We try not to use the air conditioning that much because we don't really like the dry air. What is not standard about this room is the bed. And why is it not standard? Because this bed is not a concrete bed like most beds that you find in hotels in Thailand. This is pretty okay and we have to admit we slept like babies last night. <laughs> okay, this is the messy corner. We're not gonna film that, but I will show you our bathroom. Pretty standard bathroom. We have a mirror, a sink, toilet, but don't be fooled. This kind of wall you will not find in a lot of bathrooms in Thailand. Normally, if you walk into a bathroom in Thailand, this wall is not be here. And when you take a shower, your whole bathroom is wet. Because imagine, you're standing under the shower, water everywhere, and water everywhere, it's like everywhere. So you really have to think your shower is true. Because if you want to go to the toilet after you've taken a shower, this place is just one big, wet mess. <laughs> but that is not happening here because we have a wall. And by the way, this is our balcony with pool view. Ah oh yeah, we can't show you because there are already too many people. Talking about pools, I am getting hot. Can we go for a swim? <laughs> This is by far my favorite place in Thailand. <laughs> the swimming pool. <laughs> I just wish we could swim to Dragonfly. Well, this is YouTube. Everything is possible. That's true. Bye. -bye. Bye. Welcome to Dragonfly. 
I love this kind of traveling. <laughs> Okay, so we arrived at Dragonfly Nature's Village, the latest addition to all of the resorts in Thailand, the biggest one in Thailand and maybe in the whole of Asia. This place is stunning and look out how large it is. We'll need some time to explore this resort completely, but on first sight it looks very chill, very relaxed and most of all very naturist. But we are still in Pattaya, even though we are on the outskirts of the city, this is still Pattaya and we still haven't found an answer to our question whether it's even possible to run a successful naturist resort in a city that has such a bad reputation. Why don't we just ask how they do it? I have a question. Pattaya is notorious for its sex tourism. How do you manage to run a resort in the city? Oh, that's it easy because when the people come, you give them the the, uh, the roof uh, to read and they have to understand what the uh, policy over here are all about. Before. And you know they have to make sure they understand what they're reading. Uh, uh, uh. Simple as that? Yeah, simple is that. If they're not following the rule, I will call them and we will have to discuss and Kick them out? Yes. <laughs> you see, it doesn't really need to be that difficult. You just create rules and then make sure that you have staff who checks that everybody follows the rules. And that's about that. By the way, this was Jai. She is the manager of Dragonfly Resort. We gotta be honest with you. The original idea was to show you the boat resorts of Pattaya in one video. But once we arrived here, we realized that this place is so big that it would be much better to show you, the, to give you the resort tour in another video. And that is exactly what we're gonna do. So in next week's video, we're going to show you all of Dragonfly. So if you don't wanna miss that. Make sure to subscribe to our channel and we are sure that you don't want to miss it. Just subscribe, put on your notifications. If you like this video, please give us a big fat thumbs up and we just see you in our next video and in Dragonfly. <laughs> Bye. -bye. Bye. I wish we could just swim to Dragonfly. Well, this is YouTube. Everything is possible. Oh. <laughs>